Mr. SOJ is a fucking Mike Hogg. Honestly? This nigga SOJ sucks. SOJ is not some bullshit when he's in the studio. Always bullying niggas, telling bats how to do their verse and do this over and do this, this, that, that, that. Yo, keep that shit in Brampton, B. I seen, I seen SOJ one, two time watch er, only on Shirley. And the official first time that I met this man, this man was doing a fucking, fucking home invasion. Okay, you guys need to know the truth. And it's, it's not him. Cut me out the verse. They call me for the beat. Get. He thinks he's better than me, so whatever. Nigga, that nigga had to do his verse like like 18 takes. Fucking SOJ. Anyway, I've been waiting for a video from this guy for all two fucking years. But finally he comes and it's on his time for his own things. What about my shit? Fuck your handouts, right? <laughs> This guy can't rap for shit. Man, SOJ's fucking whack. Fuck that motherfucker, man. This guy paid me $600 to get on this track, and the track is fucking whack. He made the fucking beat in his trash. Fuck SOJ. Tell him I said it. What I admire with SOJ is that he's not gonna be the next Drake. Oh, you never know. Yo, bro, who are you? He's always a bully. He's always saying, yo, why can't you put two of my songs in my mixtape with other artists only put one? Yo, why well, I'm gonna do your verse yet? Yeah, I'm writing it, nigga. I'm writing it. I don't know, still. He's not he's not he's not all there still. You know what I'm saying? He's not that nigga. Not him. He's not even from Brampton, actually. I think he's from Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Is a mixtape that is going to be nothing but fire featuring me. I should be on every fucking song, but it didn't work out. I ain't say a word, B. So make sure you go out there and get it. So he's um he's a good guy to work with. He's he's the guy that will make you laugh when you're in the studio and you know he'll he'll bring that lively vibe. Everybody's smiling when he's around, you know? SOJ's good still. He's good energy in the studio. He's a smart guy. Every time you're around SOJ, you gotta stay focused because he got you on that A game. Working with him is always a good experience and it, it, it's it's funny and there's a lot of laughs, right? If you don't work with him, you wouldn't know how what type of person he is, but he's he's a he's a clown, man. I wanna talk about this nigga right here. This guy is so fucking cool. Yeah, what is that? He's like lying in his head. He's like lying in his head. The man's so cool, yo. Nigga's a joker still. I've been around a lot of people and I don't see a lot of consistent people like my man. And I applaud him for that. And it's like an admiration around the block because a lot of people follow that lead right there. This thing that SOJ is doing is original, so I'll make sure to check out the thing. SOJ, he's, he's a really creative artist still. Comes up with a lot of the concepts that we both feature on the same tracks, right? I don't know, very creative. You know, when you hear his bars, they definitely come from somewhere else, so. SOJ is very creative. His bars, fire. Always puts that 150% every time you hear him. Very, very, you know, meticulous in his work. You come in there prepared. He, he got the beat ready for you. He got the concept. We just get down to business. Think about SOJ, he has a very good work ethic. A lot of niggas don't know that. A lot of niggas don't even have that same drive. Straight up. His process is kind of almost this, always the same, but he knows what he's doing. It's like, sometimes I'm, I'm like, what is he doing? But he knows it's a method to his madness. When he's in the studio, everything's blessed, you know? Everything's everything, every, everything's work, like you know what I mean? We get down to work still. What up, SOJ Daniel son in the boot right now? Ultimately he's a good artist, very good artist, and I know everything he spits is real and that's why we work together, you know what I'm saying? So it's always a privilege when he calls me and says he wants to do a track. The tracks are always fire, we get together, we bang it out real fast, you know, it's, it's, the process is real easy. The boss is in the building. I'm, I'm the guy that cuts the checks for this guy, and this guy, get this guy. Sip the drink in the afternoon by the pool, and that guy. Smooth, but still I'm at Not this guy, because I don't get checks from this guy. <laughs> what color them check there again? <laughs>
as far as Fuck Your Hand Notes Volume 2, it looks like a very, it looks like that good old fashioned hip hop that Toronto needs right now. Shout out to SOJ, you know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for the album to come on my brother. I got a verse or two on that, jiggling. I got my one twos on it, so I gotta plug this in for sure. But on a real thing, the thing heavy, so make sure you go out there and get it. Wanna give a big shout out to my boy SOJ. We've been homies for years and years. Want everybody to look out for the mixtape, it's gonna be nothing but fire. And look out for the album, because I'm gonna be up on the album, so we're up on that. Dunno, same as you in the face, Dunno, my brothers, smoke shot. So Jay, there's so many things that could be said. You can sum it up in two ways. You could actually say good things and you could say bad things, but I'm gonna say good things first. Great, great artist to work with still, good, good cohesion, everything's blessed. It's always fun working with him. Good energy, new stuff, always. You see, just cause I got the beard, I'm feeling brolic in this motherfucker. I think I might challenge that motherfucker to an arm wrestle outside and shit. Fuck SOJ. Fuck SOJ. Fuck SOJ. Fuck SOJ. Fuck SOJ. Hi, this is DJ Mina Pound Entertainment. We're here with Ace Boom TV. We're here talking about Fuck Your Handles Volume 2 from SOJ. This is Lucci, a featured artist on the mixtape. And Lucci, what was it like working with SOJ? Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you rap better than me? Very good. No, 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 no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why you're on only two tracks. Big up Ace Boom Entertainment, we got Pablo on that ish. What do you got to say about the fucking volume? Fuck your volume. Fuck your volume. <laughs> well, well, you know what? It, it, it's not about me saying I'm better than you still. Of more music. Is that ready? Oh, there he is. Hi, guys. Go ahead. All right, you got Lucci in the building. We got Pablo, SOJ. Here to talk about fuck your. I keep saying. <laughs> like, uh, you're texting, I'm Texas. <laughs> the tune arrives. You can check it on Fuck Your Handouts, Volume 2. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta step out the way and let everybody get a shot. You can't just steal the whole shot. No, no, no. I'm a fan. No, but no, 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 no